Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. If you like the video and enjoy it, then please consider subscribing if you have the time that is. Now we are going to be talking about, um, this is the Haifu. Now I did show a little trailer and the mishaps that can happen when you don't use it, you know, in the correct manner. Now obviously I did not use it in the correct manner. It wasn't the tool's fault, it was the user fault. So today I'm actually going to be demonstrating how to use it correctly. So I just don't want anyone to think that if you use any anti-aging tool that it's um, risk-free. Nothing is risk-free. So before you actually use this, um, consider one thing. I am not telling you oh, that you should buy it or oh, buy it. Oh, it's great. Um, I'm only giving you my story and how I'm using it because I'm no skincare professional obviously um but what i am saying is is just do some research now they do recommend if you have anything like a pacemaker any anything in your body that this may you know do damage to um pregnant lactating um you using certain drugs and when i say certain drugs i mean um prescription drugs you know um just certain things that you may have medically. Just if it's something you want to buy, go and ask your doctor. Don't ask me because I'm not I eat a professional. I do this on myself. So and I just enjoy using these sort of anti-aging tools, be it good, the bad or the ugly. Um, but this this is what I do. It's not a job. It's a hobby. So anyway, guys, we are going to start off with the Haifu. Now, the first thing you want to do is have a clean, dry face. Now, you can use a good um, hyaluronic acid, but I put mine on about an hour ago and my skin is totally dry. Now, you can use one of them, um, but don't put it on, you know, just before you use that. Put it on earlier and just let it seep right into your skin. The next thing you have, you need is a, a conductive gel or an aloe vera gel. I have one here, and this is organic aloe vera gel. Just an aloe vera gel, which I am going to apply to my face. You, can, you, you know, you can put it on the tip as well, but um, I'm, going to, I'm only going to do one half of my face because I really don't want to you know, interfere with this again, although I will, but I will be dodging that area, and I don't want people getting, you know, why is she dodging that, you know, if they just hold this for the gel, um, anybody that's watched me before already knows my mistake, so I'm only going to do this half, and when I do the other half, I will be dodging that area, because I don't want any more mishaps, as they say. Um, you might notice a bit of redness in the, my top lip. <sighs> was that the haifu? No, it wasn't. I was waxing. I actually made another video, uh, and you know anybody that does follow me will know that I made the video on um, anti-aging tools. You know what I, the good, the bad, and the useless, basically. And uh, when I was watching that video, I would put any man to shame. My moustache was amazing, so I waxed, and I still couldn't get all the hair out, and I was just going over it and over it and over it, um, and I sort of gave myself a bit of redness. Yes, why wouldn't you follow me? Because I'm amazing. So anyway, we're going to turn this on. This is the on button. We'll, yeah, we'll put it on level three for the jowl area. Three, three passes. You'll hear bleeps. And when that bleep stops, start again. And you just press the little button. Then press it again because the bleeping has gone. So that's three swipes there. And move it to the other area. And another three swipes. And then when we get here, another three swipes. One more. And then here at the marionette. And then you're coming close to the under eye bone. It's 
a wee swipe there. Then we come to the under eye bone, still at number three, three swipes. Now I'm going to turn this down to a number two, just for this area. Do not go near the delicate eye area. So I'm just going to put it here. Three swipes at number two. Now we're going to get to the, the forehead area. I'll turn it back up to three. And here we go for here. And again, three passes. And I feel that doing it this way, you're not holding it somewhere that you can be burning the skin. It's not on the skin long enough. But when you first start, if you want to go for number two, then just start your procedure on a number two. It's your skin, don't harm it. And then up here. And then here at the corner of your eye. To give you that brow lift. Then we're going to do it diagonally. And here at the brow. And then you can swipe across the way. Again, three passes. Then move to the other area. And then top area. And just turn this off and that is you've done the swiping motions you've done a number three from here here and to here number two just under here and then you go to a number three on the brow now try and keep it moving at a good pace not too quick that you get one two and you're at here you want one two three and here and then do that three times all over, depending on what level you're at. Now, if you're unhappy with certain levels, if you think, well, number three, I feel a burn, I'm not happy with it, turn it down to number two. Look after your skin. And um, you could use this, ouch, ouch. Uh, you can use this, um, every one to two months, preferably two months, let that collagen build up because when your collagen is getting old, it's sort of a like this. And um, when you are young, your collagen is like that. And uh, like I said, when you get old, it's like this. So when you use these tools, you are destroying the collagen and it's getting worse. And as more collagen comes, it becomes tight again and you're also stimulating the elastin. Oh, just hurt my toe there. Uh, I think I actually broke it at the weekend. You know when you kick it off the, the corner of the table or the couch or the door? Yeah, I did that at the weekend. Painful. Um, so anyway, guys, that is what we want. We want to tighten that skin. Now, I am going to actually make a little video um, next week. I will do the rest of my face, but I want to dodge this area. And uh, we'll see with it be kicking this. If there's any difference in the tightness, I don't know. I have to get my glasses on. <laughs> but um, we will see how this progresses. And uh, I did take a before picture. And maybe in a few months' time, because this does take a month, two months tops, uh, first use and you will actually see it progress. Like I said before, it's like a retinol. Retinol doesn't work in a week or two. Um, nothing does. 
The only thing that really is instant is surgery and even that takes a while for the healing. So nothing is instant. So anyway, guys, I have done this. I will go on and do the next part of my face, dodging that. And um, we'll catch up in the next one. You take care, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.